Good morning, guys. Tuesday, February 23rd. Great to have you back. If you kind of recall, this is Social Studies. We're going to be focusing on the grand state of Arizona, but there is nothing in your actual communities book. And so we're just doing this. And again, you probably noticed that I had a bunch of uh, slides yesterday print off for you. The, the teaching videos, which you can need to base all your the homework assignments off of. So today we're going to talk about the Arizona State flag, which I know we answered this question yesterday. If you remember correctly, the reason they have the red and yellow stripes is because the Spanish were the first people to have recorded or written history about this area. We, of course, know that the Apaches are in this area for centuries before that, but we just don't know exactly when or where, besides where we find different artifacts and different uh, you know things like that but if you might see this on different flags around here the great sea of the Apache tribe in San Carlos Arizona and you might notice they don't just have a pretty picture for the sake of having a pretty picture there's symbolism there's meaning behind it and we're gonna be talking about this for the next couple of days is why they pick different things like this well you know we have the beautiful lakes and tanks and reservoir and you know we have beautiful pine trees and saguaro cactus and the beautiful mountains and again so you can have the scenic beauty it is a part of the reason to have us in there and it's also a lot of the livelihood a lot of the lumber we get a lot of the hunting and the fishing uh that that uh apaches do here as well as the mining and cattle and things like this there's all very specific reasons but why they pick these things? Well, same with the Arizona State. When they had to come up with the state flag, there was very good reasons why they picked it. We talked about the Spanish uh, history, but we also had, I don't know if you counted these up, but there's 13 rays. And I want to use my words carefully because that is the 13 counties of Arizona. You might know the United States flag has 13 stripes for the 13 original colonies that's very different than the counties some of you guys live in Gila County some of you guys across the river live in Graham County that's the different jurisdiction areas that Arizona split up to and you might know that now because Phoenix and Tucson grew so big there's 15 counties but when Arizona started there was 13 counties like Gila County and like Graham County. So that's why they chose 13 stripes to say, hey, we have 13 counties. So that's why. There's also dual symbolism. He has two symbols. It's also because you might know that Arizona is very famous for its very beautiful sunrises and sunsets. And, and that kind of symbolizes that. Believe it or not, the Arizona state flag is one of the most beautiful and colorful state flags out of all 50 states. Um, you might have noticed this copper star in the middle. There's a reason it's copper. Not necessarily yellow, not orange, but copper is because you might know around Globe and Miami and Superior, there's a lot of copper mining. Believe it or not, a lot of the country's copper comes from Arizona. Even a lot of the copper in the world comes from Arizona. There's a lot of different things copper is used for, different wires in the walls, different pipes in the walls. Copper is used for a lot, and a lot of it comes from Arizona. So they want to symbolize that um, to give honor to their copper industry. And on bottom, you might wonder what blue stands for. Well, blue stands for liberty, which means freedom. So they also want to make it clear that uh, we're part of the United States, but we also have freedom, as in the Constitution of the United States, and so that's what they wanted there, and they had the big blue and bottom. You couldn't say it stands for, you know, big rivers, and, and, and uh, I know we have rivers, but it doesn't stand for the ocean. It, it stands for liberty. It stands for freedom. And so, my fine folks, just to help nail this down, your assignment is simply to color the Arizona State flag. And again, it, it kind of gives you all the different things down here and tells you which one to color. I'm going to ask you to be neat and, and make sure it's in the lines, but... Uh, just so you understand how the state flag looks, and you can see it kind of right behind my head there. Oop, there we go, right behind my head. Uh, that's what I'm asking you guys to do for your assignment. Lord's blessings to you as you praise your Savior.